this fat food thin, we find out if it's better to be under or overweight when trying to survive in extreme heat. Our two subjects have a combined weight of 28 and a half stone. 22 of them belong to our fat guy. We've placed them in a room with five very powerful heaters. They're both wearing thermal clothes, hats and scarves to replicate the full effect of a heat wave. The subjects each have a digital thermometer in their mouth and the person with the highest body temperature after 25 minutes will be declared the loser. The ambient room temperature is 33 and climbing and it's our fat guy who's feeling the heat the most. His temperature is 0.5 of a degree higher than our thin guys. The person with the highest temperature after 25 minutes will lose this Fat V Thin contest. And it's starting to get to them. Our fat guy is feeling the heat the most. His body is producing perspiration in an attempt to cool itself down, while our thin guy seems to be quite comfortable. There are just seconds remaining in this experiment, but look at our thin guy's temperature start to rise. When the klaxon sounds, the experiment will be over, but it looks like our thin guy has completely lost his cool. This could be anybody's. And saved by the bell, it looks like our thin guy just squeezes in by 0.1 of a degree. So this week, it's better to be micro than macro. Yay! Loser!